at least once a week? No. We've done analyses over the years and find that growth in views across uploads is not correlated with time between uploads. Many creators have established reliable connections with their audience through quality over quantity. We encourage you to take care of yourself to prevent burnout, which is important for your audience and your well-being. Why are my views lower than my subscriber count? The number of people subscribed to your channel doesn't represent the number of viewers choosing to watch your videos. On average, viewers subscribe to dozens of channels and may not return for every new upload for every channel they're subscribed to. It's also common for viewers to be subscribed to channels they no longer watch. So instead, focus on the audience that's actually watching your content using YouTube analytics, which can help you find out who's watching and what's working well or not. What other factors influence how many people see my videos? There are three major factors that explain where your audience is coming from. Topic interest, competition, and seasonality. Topic interest is how many people worldwide are interested in and watching videos about a given topic. Some topics have more broad appeal than others, and that appeal can change over time as certain subjects become more or less popular. Google Trends is a tool you can use to see how the world's interest is changing over time. And you can even filter down to YouTube search interest. Just go to trends.google.com. Next, competition. YouTube systems have to sort through and rank all videos a viewer might be most willing to watch. Even if you have great performance and metrics on your video, you may get fewer impressions if videos from other channels or creators are performing even better. And finally, seasonality. YouTube traffic can change during different times of the year. Think about your audience, like which country they live in or what's going on in their lives and expect fluctuations in viewership during major holidays. And finally, how important are tags? Well, not very important. Tags are mainly used to help correct for common spelling mistakes. For example, YouTube versus YouTube versus YouTube. Remember, YouTube systems are personalized to each viewer and recommend content based on audience interests. They are also influenced by a video's performance and engagement and external factors that influence what people are interested in over time. Focus on what your audience likes. If you do that and people watch, then the recommendations will follow. For more information on YouTube's recommendation system and video discovery tips, check out the resources.